As we learn more about the human brain, it's becoming clear that our everyday choices don't just affect our physical health, but also our mental health. And as Alzheimer's and dementia cases are on the rise, experts are trying to find ways to delay those symptoms. Here to show us a few brain games this morning is Beverly Sanborn with Belmont Village Senior Living. Good morning to you. I think you have a fascinating program you're going to share with us. Let's talk about it. Okay. Well, our program is a, called Whole Brain Fitness. So it's not just brain games. Mm -hmm. It's looking at the whole body and how the body and the brain work together. What have you found? Do you feel like you really can delay Alzheimer's symptoms or symptoms of dementia? Well, I would say that is possibly a little bit of an overstatement. Okay. Uh, the research says and suggests, mm -hmm. the research suggests that we can delay the symptoms uh, with these brain games and with whole brain fitness. Uh, it's not a huge, dramatic amount of delay. What we really do more effectively, I think, is to improve the entire lifestyle of a person who has any form of a demanding illness. I suspect that if you do whole brain fitness uh, at any age prior to having mm -hmm. uh, a demanding symptoms, it probably does delay the symptoms. So that's the deal, is doing it earlier in life and getting used to that. Yes. Let's talk about the yes. games. What would someone do? Let's give our viewers some homework. Some homework for games. All right. Well, one of the things that you need to do is you need to uh, stimulate your brain to organize ideas. So, if, for example, when they're watching you and your show, what would be important for them is to remember key themes that you've talked about or something important that you've talked about and then explain that to someone else. It's putting that an idea into words, mm -hmm. stimulating your brain to put it into words. And when we take a, a look at here on the screen, what is this yeah. saying? How do we connect water, baseball players, and pantyhose together for goodness sake? Well, now that would, be, <laughs> that would be analytic thinking. Okay. That's analytic. Okay, so that's another thing that you want to do. Yes, so what would be what would be the one underlying theme for water, pantyhose, and baseball players? What would it be? Do you have an idea what it would be? I'm trying to think. <laughs> Really? They all run. <laughs> oh, they run. Yeah, they all oh, run. Nice. Okay, I see where you're going with yeah. this now. Yeah. But but it's how would you come up with those ideas in order to yeah. be able to to get yourself going? You mean to to have right those, the, the to, to make yourself have an analytical thought? Uh, well, one of the things you can do, of course, is the internet. The internet is just rich with these kinds of things. And in fact, those triplets are uh, in the internet in several different websites. Okay. Yeah. So so find those and then actually yes. practicing it younger in life is important. Beverly, thanks yes. for being here today. Great information to share. Thank you. Thanks Let's for get me. analytical.